a quick review on the Halfords Advanced Two Bike Bike Rack, which goes on your tow bar. So I bought this this morning. Well, I bought it online yesterday, 360 quid. 35 pounds I paid for fitting, which I'm glad I did because by paying for the fitting, they put it together for me. It's not hard to fit. What you're gonna do is fit it onto your tow bar. So you will screw the actual whole bike rack onto the tow bar, which you can lock, which is really good. You can lock the bike rack to the tow bar and then there's a spanner what comes with it for the nut or you can use a, what do you call it, socket set to tighten that up. It is really solid. It's not too heavy to be able to move yourself. Okay, so getting your bikes onto this bike rack is dead easy. Once you get your bike on this bit, you can then clamp these to the frame and just screw them down frame of your bike and then you can lock them which is good because now you've locked your bike to the actual bike rack and then you, you can put these through the wheels and I found it is really secure so I've only had this about 10 hours but I am so impressed with it put your heavier bike closest to the car and then your other bike I have got also an old shopper type bike with a funny frame which really you know it's not got a crossbar but that we've just brought up here and it's it's traveled fine so i'd say it would suit most bikes now the only problem what happened this morning when they fitted this to my dacia duster is that the electric plug on the trailer didn't just go in nice and easy to the duster it needed a 12 to 13 pin plug like a an adapter which is another tenner just so if you're ordering online and you're going to make it yourself well we have to wait and see when it comes what you can also do well with my car i can get in the boot with the bike rack on and this part up when the bikes are on you can lift these the levers up and with the bikes on you can fold it down I won't be doing that because that'll be dead heavy but you can do that if you want to get in the back of your car again also before it was fitted onto the car stood on the ground it's quite flat and what I figured because I've not got much space to store this I'll be able to put this in my shed and store the bikes on the rack in the shed while I'm not using it which might be worth thinking about but yeah it is really really exactly what I wanted because what I did order was the Saris Bones 2 which is a two bike bike rack from Halfords again in the week which basically straps to the back of your car which looked good and the reviews were fine but I just did not fancy clipping things I've never had a bike rack before and what I, I did want this and I was being tight and last week, the Saris Bones, what's £200, was £120. So I ordered it and I took it back this morning. But the point to this is just be careful with these Halfords prices because on the website, it changes all the time. The, Har the Saris Bones, what was £120 last week, was already back to £200 this weekend. This I got 10% off with a Bean Bank holiday. So you just have to keep checking their website, basically. But yeah, it's dead dead good. I am so happy with it. My Dacia Duster is not that big. I can fit two bikes in if I want, but they're going to have to be stacked on top of each other. When I went to fetch the bikes from Halfords again, I've had to do one trip there to fetch one and then another trip the next week to pick the other one up. But this now, we can, well, you can go wherever you want, can't you, with your bikes. Go and have a bike ride. It's going to open it up for me for my photography for different reasons. Because now I can get out on the bike with a big lens and find some wildlife. Because you can't go and photograph wildlife with a dog. I've tried it. My dog wants to chase things like pheasants and ducks. So yeah, I'm dead happy with this. But yeah, 10 out of 10 to Halfords because they did a really good job this morning when things didn't go quite right. Which was not the product's fault. Yeah, brilliant. Very good.